Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into it. Let's make some noise. The most passionate fans we have. 15,000 of you again today. Sold out once more. PGL is absolutely loving Poland. And I gotta say, I'm loving it too. We'll see how Gambit and Immortals feel about it because they get underway. Four sets of armor, a kit for Doja. Some Gambit gaming on the CT side, obviously, therefore. KNG, Lucas, and Bolts are the ones equipped to go heavy hitting, but they've got a decent amount of utility for the Brazilians to start it off. They're gonna head out toward B. Flash goes back in. Hobbit, as always, will play pat platform, and it's with the USP. He starts off, but gets taken down. Lucas with the opening kill of the final. This is looking very good now, but they're stifled. Trying to get off that platform. It's gonna be Mo fighting back. The first USP headshot comes in, four and four, but it's a brawl. The Brazilians are coming into the B bomb tie emphatically here. Buddy, every single frag is just Dosia. Nothing you can do about it. And there it is. Immortals with a simple B side attack open things up, taking down the first B platform player. It looked like they potentially wouldn't get out at that point, but they just completely made their way through and took down every single frag required. Their op zero. opening pistol stats have been very, very good for Immortals. Again, they win this. And watch the timing. As soon as they get in the site, we can't see it right now with X-Ray. KNG starts to push Ellie. That's exactly when Bolts went down drop. So it was a late play, and they were already committed to looking in the site. He was able to backstab one, and then Dojia had nowhere to hide. Of course, Matt, we do have the force buy here from Gambit. We've got five sevens. We've got scouts and deagles as well. Immortals is pretty well equipped though, and it's going to be Bolts. This is a fast play. This is what Immortals used to really give away in a lot of these rounds against these Force Buys. Fast approach still is that B side. This is working out very nicely for them though. Only two players remaining. Adrent, he goes down as well. Zeus with the CZ. This round's done. And we saw Immortals throughout this tournament look like a different team in terms of their anti Force Buy approaches. They were very disciplined, very calm, running defaults. This is kind of old school Immortals here. They used to be one of the most deadly teams on the T side of Cobblestone. And we'll see if they can continue that today. Zeus in a four versus one. Head armor as well, trying to get one frag here. Might get it, but still takes him down. 2-0 for Immortals. This is looking very promising indeed. Two great rounds of four players survive. Four players survive, like you say, with speed. So they'll stay on the SMGs where applicable. Yes, they will indeed. This has to be the full eco now for Gambit. Not really much they can do in this situation. The bad news is as well, we did have Mo, who's been sensational in this tournament as well, I have to say. Uh, he's fully fully committed to that the previous round. The orbs could be a bit of a struggle for him. If he can find a kill here, he might be able to bring out a glass cannon. We'll see as we get into round number three. Should be more of the same from Immortal. They can just rush B again if they want to. Nothing perched in the CT side. Five default pistols, no armor, no nades. And here it comes Bolt, looking to farm some cash here with the MAC-10. And he gets Hobbit off site. The rest are stacked up, walking in. A little bit careful, but they make it work. Everything going the way of Immortals. They don't look even slightly phased or unconfident. Yeah. Walking into the site. I, I gotta say, just as you mentioned, Mo, to go back to the Gambit side of things, the same applies to Immortals. Jason said it on the desk. These two teams are pe pe peaking perfectly. They have had individual performances and team performances alike from all five players. Yeah, it's been fantastic to see from Immortals. Normally known as a team that's got sensational firepower, but not so much in terms of the fundamental approach to Counter-Strike. They've completely changed that. They're looking like a solid unit right now. 3-0. It's an advantage from going to this round as well. They've got the bonus round here. Two max 10s. A UMP to work with us here. It's another fast approach towards Long A. Lucas even the charge of the AK-47. CTs, one kip, little in terms of utility. The first frag will be coming in momentarily. Moe's ready. Has to back off early. Smoke down. No one at the bottom of mid, so he's got to be very careful because they can push around through danger. They don't even need to. KNG's got the shot early. Doesn't have to push anywhere. It was in the open, but he gets countered by Zeus, which will call for rotation. Adren's the one to get close. Zeus cannot watch the corner. They may rotate back into him, though. Is he, oh, if he pushes through on this, Zeus, he could be in a perfect position. I don't think there's any need or necessity to do so. Not right now. He doesn't really have much to work with here. One flashbang. He's going to tuck himself in towards the corner there. His teammate Adren watching towards Long A, so he's protected in that sense, but these MAC-10s at close range can be very deadly. Luckily, Zeus has got a head armor. He's bold to check this. He upgrades his weapon. Now he has a chance to get the one bullet headshot with the AK. Bullet headshot, but Zeus goes wide. Oh, they don't spot each other yet. Free fires in. M4 should lose this duel, but because it got the early opener, he's able to take him down. Adren on the rotation, as we mentioned earlier, was watching Long. That's where Zeus could not see. He's able to pick up a kill with steals in between them. Finds a Dren! Oh. If he didn't find a Dren, there was no chance he'd find the second, but he does match Doji as well as Henny. Has to sit between two Zeus and Hobbit, have to play perfectly high HP for Hobbit. He affords the fight 3-1. Yes, a round victory for Gambit though, but a hollow one. 
That was a bonus round for Immortals there. It came down to the 2v1 situation. The reinvestments for Gambit is going to be a big struggle going forward now. Immortals know it. They can still buy for sure. They can bring up orbs that they want to. Definitely not the same story for Gambit here. Huge round. 3-1. Gambit have to reinvest. They've got an AK-47 save from the previous round. That's in the hands of Adren, who has also been completely lights out this tournament. And Dosia on the UMP. It's not a shocking buy, but it's not ideal. Lose this round. It's a double eco. They need to pick this one up, Gambit. Hobbit's gonna go back out toward Long B. They'll stay tight at the rock. Four players inside of B if you include Doji at drop. He's gonna watch the window. Steel's waiting for anyone to push through at B. Zeus isn't electing to do so yet, but Henny on the AWP, keep in mind, is over toward B to try and find an early pick. Probably the utility is not gonna allow that. Utility exchange as well. It's all about possession of this corner. But waits. Not quite in the Hobbit hole, but he goes to the archway. Wants to be baited in by Mo. Baited in indeed! Oh, nearly misses the shot. Bomb gets dropped. Only manages one. Mo thankfully takes down KNG as well, but oversteps and Lucas finds both of them on entry. Go toward the stairwell. Lucas wins that as well. Oh. Hat trick on the way through for Immortals. What an important round to win as well. It's, you mentioned the bonus round. Put them in a perfect financial position. Deuce has already been spotted by one. Has to slow his pace as Doji gets back in line with the SMG. Has to get close. No one entered over the wall. No need to peek. Just wait for them to drop in Mo. Or excuse me, Doji has said Zeus waiting. Gets the ball. Oh. Lines up two as he walks back out. And he's able to find the response immediately. Bomb down though, Henny, 1v1 situation against the old veteran Zeus. He's got no flashbangs to work with, it's Zeus sits behind the statue, has to take the challenge, gets dinked in the process. Now it's Henny with the advantage, but time picking away, 10 seconds, can he find the frag? Surely he can, one bullet would do it, but he can't find him. He's gonna chase it all the way, five seconds, Zeus has to play sound, he's gotta play time, he's got to play time, he's going to! What a tenth round, and Zeus will get away. You talk about smarts, you talk about brilliance. He brought this team alive and he uses his brain to win the round there. 3-2, Gambit survived. Just perfect from Zeus. Getting dinked as well, he knows he can't take any more jewels. Has to stay alive, notice the timer. Dancing around the tree position at that point as well and it's just to perfection. As soon as the timer runs out as well, he survives. And Lucas, it seemed like he'd done everything there. But Dosia, the double kill of the UMP, pretty much saves the round there. It's down to Zeus then, like you said, to use his smart to try and do what he can in the 1v1 situation. Look at it, cat and mouse there. 3-2, oh. another buy available for Immortals to keep Gambit modest. And there's the first kill once again. It's a CD trying to work hard for these frags. The goes aggressive towards that upper platform. Doesn't get anything for it, no damage inflicted. Gambit still on the ropes here. They had three UMPs in this round. Hobby picks up the fallen M4. We go into... Long A situation, it's Mo and Zeus to defend the A side, make it just Zeus, as Mo gets found by Henny. Opener again, therefore, for Immortals. Just becoming a bit of an issue for Gambit, they're gonna have to be very cautious of that. Remember, even when Zeus was on board before the simple days on Cobblestone, it was not a Na'vi map. They used to average about four, maybe five rounds on the CT side. Hopefully that's not a trend that Gambit have to deal with in this game. Angie and Lucas get much closer to the entry point. This is really nice from Immortals. This is disciplined stuff. They've got that five on three. The CT is getting bled out right now. They're holding position. They still have 45 seconds as well, waiting for a mistake to be made. Immortals, this is their round to lose. You can see Gamma, they're fully rotated. They're committed to the A side. B is open, and that's exactly where Immortals are heading as well. KNG showing a little bit of presence there, smoking the connector. This is so good. What a call from Immortals. Playing this to perfection, Gambit will have no chance to retake this map. This round's done. Once a bomb goes down, they'll know they can't go for the retake whatsoever. And I have to save the little weapon really how I think they're saving already. They know it's over. Zeus, Doty, and Hobbit go and tuck themselves in towards the A site. Perfectly played there from Immortals. And they knew it as well. They had a couple of unlucky situations there with the clutches, but overall, this has been a perfectly cooled round. And the hunt begins. KNG, he's not letting him get away without a fight here. Isolated by crouching down. Manages to get Doji, but Zeus still had an angle. It's not like they have tons of money left over after the very good start at the bonus round. KNG only has about 500 left in the bank, but obviously they're going to pick up the round. So they can afford to invest one person to chase. The rest will sit back and allow the M4s to be saved. Gambit, on the other hand, going into a third round loss bonus with not much money to work with. 
Yeah, this could be their unraveling at this stage. Saving two weapons, I'll probably force around it. We know the money is not existing at this point, only getting $1,400 into the next round. Immortals extend the lead to 4-2, a very, very nice round. That's just textbook Counter-Strike there. Getting the map control, finding the pick, not giving too much away. They used to be, uh, they used to have a lack of discipline, I would say, this team. They would get the one pick and then fully commit. They're trying to over, over swarm the bomb site and try and get that bomb down as quickly as possible. This is just classic Counter-Strike there. Holding up, waiting for the CTs to make mistakes, bleeding out their utility, and walking into an open bomb site. It doesn't get much better than that. And as I said, the CTs probably will try and force around this situation. Three UMPs come out to save them fours. They do have a few smoke grenades to work with there, but one kip. The mortals know the force by is very likely those two saved rifles, but they're heading out to open up the map once again. It's on the AWP. Stored long. He's been excellent on entry so far in this game. Again, more proof to the fact that they've got all strings working on the boat. The harp's in tune. The bales. Quick peek towards smoke. Shots fired, and that's fine. Real good there. Bump down control. Nice made in return. Yeah, it's doing some decent damage. We know Cobblestone throughout this tournament has been quite impressive with HG grenades. We get into round of a seven hemp. Nothing really to report as if you have a decent map control from Immortals. Looking good. Mo got his work cut out for him here. Completely blind. Does some damage. But that's all he'll do. And I'll make that attention towards the A bomb site here. Entry and opening again. That's what it's working. That's how it's working for Immortals. Good trade back to AMG as he continues on. Another great shot. Doja has to rotate. Switch from the SMG to the AK. He's still got a reasonable chance. With bolts down there in a three versus two. But bomb planted. No kits and no utility to work with. The call has to be made early if they go or not. Again, even, even if they say they can't really force around this, they might as well try and see what they can do. Is there anything available? Just an opening would do. Hobbit's going to try and slip through with the SMG. Not sure Henny spotted him. Doesn't even matter. Goes back. Whether he did, it's not inconsequential. This from Doja will be retreat. Like you said, they won't be able to buy, but really, one versus three AK, you might as well at least save something because it's not like he's going to be able to pull anything off. So another great round from Immortals. Five to two. Starts in these matches have been their things. On, these, on this stage especially, they have had great starts to pretty much every game we've seen them in. Yeah, I'm becoming a big fan, especially KNG as well. This is his first major. He's come out of nowhere, Matt. What a performance he's had in this tournament especially, and in the grand final, doesn't seem to be phased whatsoever. Causing chaos there with the AK-47. He makes his way towards the A site. Gambit was even stacked there as well. They had three players ready to go, but getting out jeweled. They had lesser weaponry, and they do save the AK-47 Gambit. That's in the hands of Dosia, but it's 5-2. And I think the pause comes in. Of course, it's tactical for Gambit. Let's work out what's going on here. What's the adjustment? We can't buy into this round, but maybe a player like Dosia, he gets aggressive. So maybe boost something up and towards drop down, go for that first pick. I think that's probably much your only option with an AK. You could go and face towards the upper platform, but you're likely running into the AWP. The chance to work out what they can do here. We need to get that AWP out from Mo, especially. That's what we need to see. And their financial situation has not been great so far. Still very early days, though. As we enter round number eight, the unpause comes in. I'm going to look at the scoreboard quickly. We're going to have KNG, of course, eight kills, three deaths. Top player for Gambit is Zeus, who's had that very important club situation. So nothing really invested into this round from Gambit. A few AT grenades, some smokes as well. Um, going to be interested to see what Dosia does. He does go towards drop down, but not boost it up. And this looks like the B rush once again. That's been successful for Immortals, but it can fall apart very quickly. We go for a few set piece smokes as well, but here comes the commitment. Boost up for Dosia. Good position this time. Goes back out. There's three letters in sex, and he's the god of all three kills. Bolts, he's going to wrap back around and do what he can. Tags go through. It's Doji down to 19. But the round is in the favor of Gambit Hanny. Continuing on with the T side and AWP. They're locked out for now, but the HP is low enough. Immortals have been impressive. Doji is up to four. Not quite going to get the ace. Henny's pulled it back one on one. Both kills in the site. Bombs in his hands. It may still favor him because. Oh, but has to get in a better position. He has the HP advantage. They're both on AKs. Back off to the angle. And Henny clutches it back with four of his own. 
What a round that was. How has Dozier pulled off four kills? They had one AK-47 into that one. You think he's done it. That's surely it. But Henny, known as an Orpa, steps up there with the AK-47, pulls it back in favor of Immortals. 6-2. This is going to be a good grand final. Two very skilled teams on the server right now. It's going to be electrifying. And it's Dozier. What a spray down. We said he could get boosted up. He does. This time towards the tree position. Perfect spray control. But it wasn't enough. They get a buy into round number nine here, but UMP's out once again. But Mo, more importantly, he's got the AWP. No kits available for Gambit, and more fast-paced gameplay here. The single AKs being carried over in this tournament might be the most success rate we've yep. ever seen. We saw it yesterday for Immortals against Virtus Pro in a very, very important round on Mirage. We saw it for Simple in the group stages for Navi on Train. We nearly saw it for Gambit, but Immortals hold true. And take a lead six to two. Fast pay play again, by the way. They were just getting Doja into a position to yep. counter, and they're already through the smokes that were deployed. Absolutely. That's why I always say try and go for those defaults. When you know a weapon's up and they're going to be eco, just try and work out where it is instead of running into a potential stack. Dozier, fantastic work, but not quite enough. It's all gone quiet now. The mortals are back towards beat. Molotov towards drop down. Dozier does have to pull back. Like we said, no kits and almost no utility. About one incendiary left. That's it. A flashbang as well, but Henny finds the shot. Takes down Dosia, five on four with time remaining as well. Back in for Henny, pre-scoped. No stopping the man. Gandalf might have, but Hobbit can't. Good shot back from O. You mentioned the AWP. Steel puts it down already, though. That opens the site again for Immortals, and he's got a shot over the top. Zeus at least upgrades onto an AK. Can get a better chance of the one versus two, but oh. he goes in quick. Steel's ready for that as well. Looking like a very one-sided affair now. Immortals have turned up the play. The money is just not getting going at all for Gambit. Every round they win, they're getting shut down. Has to be another eco here. They can have a partial buy. In terms of loss bonus, it's maximum next round. So they can bring out 5.7s, P250s, Deagles. That's probably about it. Maybe some body armor here or there, but you have to say the Brazilians are firing on all cylinders right now. Henny with some amazing rounds. KNG as well. Henny's currently on 11 kills. I believe one death as well, yeah, he's playing, he's turning up, we'll get into round number 10, 7-2, in favour of Mortals on the T side of Cobblestone, Eagles are out, Zeus with the body armour, no nades to work with, but Dosia, he's an angle with the Deagle, and Tenny opens things up once again. Mortals are doing such good work again early to put themselves in a really unreachable position, a and trying to start it, decent oh shot, Dosia. Let's not get too carried away. They still only have the pistols. The guns are so far out of reach, they cannot upgrade. Smoke down on the alley. Ooh, Tink again on bolts. Insignificant from that range. Bolts able to spray back despite the vision. Doja wants in the smoke. The smoke will cost him. And he goes through, and Zeus down as well. Immortals slow the play pace when needed. They have been playing fast against the Antigos. You mentioned they were struggling to do that in the tournament. Now they're slowing it down as soon as they lose two kills to make yep. sure they don't get carried away. It's looking brilliant, but now finally things stand to stabilize with Gambit. They can bring out the orb, they can bring diffuse kits, a full array of utility as well. That's what we needed here. This team doesn't usually fall back to double orb setup, so I don't think we'll be seeing much of that from them. Hobbit. At one point was looking like one of those exciting players in CSGO. We'll see if he can step up here. Hasn't really shown much in this grand final as of yet, but still early days. Eight two. Bolts and still. They're hunting towards the upper platform, still looking aggressive. Flashbang goes in, he wants this pick, but he can't find it. Hobbit shuts him down. It's a 5 on 4 finally advantage for Gambit here. Good shot back, Lucas, to control it. Gambit still in a position, though, with Mo on the AWP at long. Change of pace from having him toward B early on. And he nearly spotted him. He might be. In terms of start to finish of the event, hold my thought. Good shot from Doja. He holds the angle, Bolts, good backstab, looks the wrong way, Moe's got the kill. They may have a round, but they need to keep everyone alive. Shake hands, boys, we're all friends. They've lost track of each other ever so slightly. That puts Henny behind, but a missed shot. Ooh, a missed shot and goes in to capitalize. I was gonna say, Henny might be the most improved player from the start of this event to where we are right now. In the group stages, yeah. he looked slow, but he's looked incredible in the last two series. Yeah, it was time as well. He's known as the main Orpa for Immortal, but he had to give up that role because KNG was just outshining him in every single aspect, and he did look very quiet, but today, 
He's turning up. He's currently on 13 kills, two deaths. But that's a lovely round by Gambit. Just about holding on there after getting the first frag. It's Mo, of course. It's Immortals trying to show presence towards B. They're suggesting we're rushing it once again. Still gets flashed in. A couple of smokes deployed, but he got taken down. And at that point, Gambit more than happy to keep players towards the A side of the map. And they pick up their third round. Not a huge chance of a full reset here. It wouldn't be as devastating as before, but certainly not ideal. Double Orb does come out for Adren. There with Mo. And they go towards B once again. A simple execution. More smokes to be deployed. Off the bat, the set piece. Good full back of this one, you know. Don't have to fully commit. So they go towards drop down. Get in there, though. Bolts quick to take down Zeus. Again, the opener for Immortals. Good response for Modo to hold off to make sure the connector's not lost. Hobbit. He might need to disappear. Put on the precious, but he's not invisible long enough because Henny's able to pop back out and detect. Apparition eyes for Doji as he gets through the edge of the smoke. Steel found. Doji is having a great game as well. Looks for more techs. Henny needs to be aware that KNG is still inside of the site. He's going to go looking for him. Mo just needs to hold an angle on the AWP. He's going to try. And it'll be toward the wall because he knows that as well. The AWP is Henny is in the same position. It's in the position and he's found it. Your raid nearly gets set for the other. But it's the king to clutch, and he will do just that. Doja walks into it. Nine for Immortals. Huge performance from KNG once again. Immortals, that is looking so good right now. The execution, I love that. All the smokes going in, the flashbangs as well, and they send three players back towards the drop down. Did you see how blind that player was waiting for them as well? Got completely wrecked. They go for the connector, they're holding off the rotations, and it's up to Doja, like he said. He's having a great game, but he can't do enough at this point. We have to go into another force by situation for the CT. We did say the reset wouldn't be as destructive as it was before. It's still not great. Two M4s, a UMP, and a shotgun coming out for Zeus. Desperate times, go for desperate measures. We'll see where this does anything for them. Lose this one, it's going to be 10 3, and they potentially don't have money for the rest of this half. Much time to sit back and let the play materialize. And this has been so high paced as we expected between these two teams, but this round a lot slower. It will slow down when Gambit on the T side. Guarantee True. that. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's a CIS special, that yeah. one is. They might not have a chance to make a den at this rate. No kits, no smokes, no incendiaries. A couple of flashbangs and a decoy. That's all Gambit have to work with here. Slow and methodical stuff from Immortals so far. Full default, bombs down in the B-Halls. Lucas working towards long A. That's going to be a key duel over there. Mo waiting on the other side. Here it comes. Can Lucas find this pick? Doesn't want to fully commit just yet. As he falls back, we might have to focus towards the B-side. Lucas will again go toward long. It'll be conceded early. There's not much toward A at all if they just make a straight contact. 30 seconds. Mo is all that is here, and Mo's gonna have to be perfect. Good pre fire on angle from Ken, or Lucas, excuse me. And G enters, therefore, and it might be an early call. Might have to because they don't have the sight. The problem is, even if they make the early call, they're gonna have bolts close enough by with. Well, it's only got $50. That's the other bizarre part of this, by the way. They get one quick kill. It's the Hobbit pistol to try and run out and ascertain if they are trying to flank. That's the crazy thing, that the money has been actually quite honest. It's just that they can never get that second round in to break them. Every time they get close or whittle them down, they just don't get the ensuing round, then Immortals jump right back out to a lead. Yeah, absolutely. Immortals this time, another slow default. They know that the Gambit economy was going to be weak, trying to ascertain what kind of weapon they really have there. Going towards Long Air, Lucas. Slowly but surely got to the end, he gets that first pick, calls the A-sides open, and Gambit, they have no choice but to save. You need utility to retake the A-bomb site, especially when you have the matter disadvantage as well, you can attempt that. You need defuse kits, and they just didn't have either. And three weapons save for Gambit, but still, things looking pretty bleak. Immortals playing out of their minds right now. Top frag at the moment, Bolts, he had another great tournament. He's been fantastic in this major campaign, ever since the minor to the qualifier itself, and getting to this event, been so consistent for them. Really developed as a player since we saw him playing for Luminosity. Let's not forget to reflect back on Immortals' journey even into the playoffs. In a 2-1 matchup, they played against SK. Yep. And we were thinking to ourselves, okay, again, SK. Then, and I'm going to take this phrase again, they're no longer the baby brother, but at the time, you know, still the team everyone was favoring in this event. Immortals, they just finally made it to a major. 
SK did beat them quite convincingly. We weren't even sure Immortals were going to make the playoffs. And then they take down a number of incredible teams. Big was on a run. Immortals best them. Virtus Pro at home in front of all of these fans. Immortals best them. And now Gambit, the, teams that sit, the team that sits at 7-1. and one, We took down Astralis. Are struggling against what I would call just firepower at this point. And a great approach as well. There's a great mixture of pace. Very slow defaults, fast set pieces, fast commitments in terms of rushes as well. They keep mixing it up, and Gambit just can't get comfortable here. It's round number 14, the closing sectors of the first half. Looks like that fast pace is coming in once again, but it works against KNG this time. Mo with the pistol gets him the advantage. And he might be able to get the rifle as well. I don't think it's in his reach as he takes a nade to the face. Back off for Mo because the flames too hot. Over. Can't quite land the headshot. He was correct on his anticipation of angle. Walk off the drop room. I don't control and contain for a moment longer. Still the man advantage despite not having the weapons. They're trying to get that rifle in towards the drop down position. They know they need a Mo. Managed to get boosted up. Hasn't found it just yet. Low HP surely dealt with a couple of frags from mortals. Make it three! It's all starting to fall apart once again for Gambit. It's going to be the AK-47 for Dosia and Adren on the M4. One kit, no nades, and this is the play. Can he do anything with it? Apparently not. It's going to be round number 11 for Mortals, guaranteed at this point. Dosia, the upper platform, has to try and do something with this one. He needs to start posting rounds on the board here. Back to a good read. Bomb. I take it back. It's not going to go all the way around. It's 35 seconds. They're just going to push in. They know Doja is definitely in the site somewhere. And the boost up a draw. Even though they had the man advantage, they didn't have the, pit, the, the guns and pistols, so they wanted to still take the fight. <laughs> Fortunately, this time Immortals, as I mentioned, when they are up against San Diego, slow down after losing the man. I got another round. round Surprised 15. not to see more timeouts, by the way. J just to notice what we commented is yesterday. If you remember Immortals when they first got on the stage, yeah, how emotional and passionate they were, jumping out of their seats, they looked so calm. They said to themselves, like we've, we've spoken to the Zach, the coach, is saying, like, we know we're not going to win games like that. Sure, it might help us at the time, but when things go wrong, we need to be calm. We want to slow pace gameplay as well. Everyone has to know their role and playing with discipline. I think that as much had to do with responding to big as well. A lot of knives in that game, a lot of nade damage. It was a yeah. brawl. We know Tabson and Lakia love to taunt. So I think that was just literally going back and Getting forth fired with big. Up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, it's round number 15, man. Looking for 12-3, and as we said, Gambit, fantastic T-sided team, but they might not have a chance to even show us what they're made of on that side. Likely to be 12-3, the Looter Pistol, this could be a very, very quick game. The first map of the Grand Final here, the Major. Gambit up against the ropes here, got three UMPs, two pistols. Number 15, Immortals, once again, just dissecting the map. and so good at this. Baiting on that CT utility, and once again, it's non-existent. One incendiary. They just haven't been, had a stable economy throughout this first map. Bolts is going to go, but could overstep Hobbit's close position. He's been tagged considerably, so to his steel. They push through. There is a crossfire set, but Hobbit able to slide up the wall. Could surprise them all, KNG, especially who doesn't have a gun drawn. Fine for kill, wants the gun, but gets a little bit too tunneled and zoned in toward it. Catches him out. Got some good damage in those, so it's a little four and four, which technically favors the t shirt and even more so with the current buys. But still, 52 HP, bolts 27 as they start their contact play towards the B sides. Up to a drone with the UMP defensive position, not fully committing, has to cause damage here. Grand wants to swing out perfectly, times it. No kill, kill from steel, in fact, took damage. Ah. Not worse for wear in the initial exchange, not to mention the second, but the twins again step up. Henny and Luke is finding kills. Down to Zeus and Mo, both of which are on UMPs, one of which is on a flank. He's made the flank work, Mo oh. finds the kill, and he's in the open, they know it. Mo's picked up an AK, but he has to get Lucas first. He knows he's gonna be faced off by Lucas, has the tighter angle. Whoa, we risky on the movement, risky on the play, and Henny with the fast snap to the left. He's gonna put Immortals on 12 to three at half. We said Henny's had a quiet tournament. But in the grand final, in the first half, he dropped 18 frags, clutches out the last round as well. He's died three times. How nuts is that? Henny has been amazing here. We said KNG's been the MVP for Immortal, but so far, Henny, he has stepped up. He's delivered something world class here. Gambit looking at sixes and sevens right now. They don't really know what they can do about this situation. Lose this pistol, this map's over. It won't be happening. And Matt, I've spotted something quite interesting here towards the pistol. We've got some jewelies out, but maybe 
that's the reason we might have a a pause are we okay we're okay it's All fine right. the jewelies are going to be committed i was about to say surely they're not going to be used but they are going to be used here we go two is better than one that's what i've always said henry it's true sometimes four mo goes out toward long with the duelies in hand i don't get this at all it's the first time in the major final we had duelies i think all the way around the corner duelies gonna have to be aggressive doge has got one duelies can be aggressive jumping and firing two back in sight though and steel's got first oh. kill what is the third one because he doesn't even need to he's got his teammate there to peek him beside bolts does nothing and Hanny pops out to close it, steals, shots them down, and you mentioned the pistol being the end. Well, it might be indeed. 13 to 3, and momentum for the CT side. One lifeline left. I'm sure all CSGO fans know how deadly the Tech Knight can be. Along with the Desert Eagle as well, this force fight does come in. It's not over just yet. They can squeeze this round out just about, but it's unlikely. But still. Everyone seems to be performing from mortals right now. This five-man unit seems to be getting better and better as the tournament gets through. And Zeus, <laughs> Zeus knows like, it. Why are we buying jewelries, guys? Why are we doing this? <laughs> you got one kill, I guess, but you just end at the range at that point. It's uh, an interesting decision, but there you go. And we're gonna have a long air rush here from Mo, trying to take down Lucas, but I don't think we'll get the skill. Yep, taken down. Five on four. This could be a very quick first map of the best of three. Very different teams. The second time Zeus has played against a Brazilian in their first final. Columbus, they got battered and bruised, and he's faring no better here on map one. Just a note as well, this is of course a Mortal's pick. We do move on the train as well, where Gambit should feel more at home. They're gonna have to feel more at home. Yeah, well, more than this. <laughs> Mention. Gambit did beat Astralis on train, but not to mention we go to Inferno, which yes, both teams have had success on, but Immortals took down big and have been playing very fast on the map. Where does Prohead struggles? Back into the pistol for Doja. The Deagle, that is. Couldn't find the shot. Lucas gets it instead. Zeus next in line. Oh, he so nearly gets a kill. Steel and Lucas both go low, but KNG's got the top of the ramp. Three kills for him. Two to go. Almost guaranteed at this point, Immortals haven't missed a beat whatsoever. 14-3. We did say Gambit, they could stand a chance on the T side. Zeus's teams historically, especially in Na'Vi, they were T side specialists on this map alone. You remember, Na'Vi used to get five rounds on Cobblestone, and then there'd be lights out on the T side because the tactics were so strong. Him in particular, he was always very good on this map, but I don't think we'll get a chance to see that kind of performance. They have to force by once again. It's not ideal. And the financial turmoil for Gambit continues. It just haven't been established in this map, and Immortals completely shutting them down in every facet of the game. Deagles, Tech Nines, sure there's armor, but a couple of smokes and flashbangs, that's about all they have to work with. Immortals know how tantalizingly close they are to closing this game out. No mistakes now, no aggression. Let's just hold up, get the crossfires established. Do not give anything away to these Deagles. And shots in, Doge is tagged as well. Starts it, takes down a Dren. Knew that he was in the corner, didn't know if he wanted to overcommit to the peak or not, but still managed to make it work. By the way, he's intentionally wading out toward the statue at T. He's gonna head toward B's pond, or B tunnels now, do you? They're losing men elsewhere. He's hoping maybe there'll be an opening, someone rotating around. He can catch the kill and then go get the plant, but that doesn't look likely at this point in time. Or five versus two, KG, excuse me, is still alive on 17, which is more than Doja has. This has just been clinical. I, I can't tell you many mistakes immortals have made, if any. It's been a perfect performance so far. Gambit, I don't have a response. It's going to be Dosia and Mo, low HP. The Eagle's out, but one of that's gone. It's going to be Dosia now with the Tech 9. Surely this is map points. Indeed, it is. The map Mortals have point. too strong. Yeah, absolutely. A challenger team. Interestingly enough, I had a conversation. I think it was with Anders in Cologne saying, I think this could be the first time we have a challenger team go all the way through. Yeah. I was speaking maybe more about Cloud9's performance in Cologne, more specifically maybe G2, yep. who had to go back down. I did not expect this, and this is absolutely incredible. They're about to go up one map. I need just one more. Yeah, it's been a masterclass of Counter-Strike. We'll break it down after this round, but still, it's desperate once more. Gambit, maybe just the B-Rush here. Deagles, Tech Nines, trying to do what they can. Push through the fire, hope for the best. Henny to defend. And he gets to the corner. Perfectly positioned. If they were to drop through, which they do, down goes Adren. He slips behind once more, but Doge is aware. 
Lines are actually accumulating kills. Hobbits found another as Moe trades back. It's ball planted, headshot onto Lucas. Now they've got a real chance with that damage as well, but they themselves are not exactly perfect for life. Nade being thrown, Moe knew he had a chance to capitalize, and KNG can't hit the shot on the off. We're not done yet. Gambit's got life. But a very, very marginal life at that. 15-4. It's going to take 11 rounds in a row. No mistakes at this point from Gambit. But the bad news is they haven't exactly broken the economy of Immortals. Double orbs coming out, and that's when they've been the absolute best on these CT sides. Henny, KNG, what a formidable duo that's going to be. Do Gambit have what it takes to get any deeper into this game? I think this one's done. I'm going to call it now. But it's good for Gambit to accumulate some rounds. They'll get warmed up on the stage, try and get their bigger names fragging, and see if it's Dren. He can find something here. He's been great for this tournament. He's currently on 5 for 17. He's just dropped off into his obscurity here. Has to start stepping up. So if he can get like five rounds in a row at this point, let's get his confidence back. It might be looking good for Trey. Something we've mentioned before, players. Just getting rounds alive, getting some kills on the board to make sure that they have that confidence that you speak of, but. A lot of time to do it. Moe's gonna get KNG back. Still just two left to find. It may go down to just one. Steel has a Dren. It's all on to Mo for Immortals to take map one. Convincingly, anticlimactically in some ways, if you're on the Gambit side of things. Down, no one directly watching it. They don't need to. They can afford to watch sites instead. Takes no chance in smoking it off and a flash through as well. But if he thinks he's clever to outrun them, given that they'd be circling the bomb. Not right on his anticipation. Got one over toward B, no matter where he goes at this point in time. So back to A instead. Ball versus one. Mo trying to keep the dream alive. Gives his position away by shooting a dead corpse there, and that should be it. Lucas. It's been a masterclass of counter strike for Immortals there. 